CBS 5's Sarah Beth Ackerman is with the live eye at Toggenberg and Fabius with new information on how that slope keeps the skiers safe. Michael, it's very rare for someone to actually really get hurt on a ski lift, but it is still very important to know the risks of riding. And when I'm talking about riding, I'm not just talking about skiers and snowboarders that are going up and down the mountain. I'm actually talking about hopping on the lift here. And the thing is, is we wanted to look into that. So today we spent the day right here in Toggenberg Mountain to find out everything you need to know before you hit the slopes. So you finally made it to the slopes. You pop on your skis or tighten up your bindings. But not so fast. Before you hit the powder, there are a few things you should know. Toggenberg Mountain Lift Supervisor Mark Graves has some tips to make sure you make it up and get down the mountain safely. Just make sure when you're skiing with somebody that you know which side of the, of the chair you want to sit on. Don't be getting up there and deciding somebody wants to switch positions. Always have control of your ski poles. Whether you're a skier or a snowboarder, Graves says know what level you are. You don't want to be jumping on a chairlift before you're even ready. Instructor Adam Green knows this all too well. It's an extreme sport, so I mean, there's, there's risks involved in it no matter what, so try to be as safe as you can. Green has been boarding for 10 years, and he says there's a learning curve when it comes to going up and down the mountain. That's why he puts his skills to good use by teaching beginners. He tells me it's not the skiing or riding that makes people a little on edge. Sometimes it's just hopping on the lift. That's why they ease everyone in at their own pace. If they're comfortable with it and we feel that they're good enough to get on it, then it's kind of a judgment call. But when you trade the bunny hill in for something a little more challenging, make sure to read the signs. This one says no loose clothing, loose scarves, or exposed long hair. Sometimes they get tangled in the chair. When they get off, they get caught. Also, remove your ski pole straps from your wrists and make sure to always pull the safety bar down. Just a few helpful tips that will help you turn into a pro by the end of the ski season. Now, another thing is while you're skiing, we all know that you have tons and tons of accessories. That's gloves, ski poles, anything like that. But when you're hopping on that lift, if some for some reason your glove falls off or you drop your ski pole, don't go ahead and try and catch it. It's better that it's very important to just try and stay still on the lift and worry about your accessory that fell later. For now, reporting live at Toggenberg Mountain, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. Michael.